Hi everybody, Mature Simmer here. So I'm here in Tower Simulator 3. I've gone ahead and had an idea. So as I've been working through creating some real schedules for different airports, I've kicked off KBNA and this is KBUR or the Hollywood Burbank, California, United States Airport otherwise I believe known as the Bob Hope Airport. I'm doing a day in the life series is what I've come up with as a concept so that I'm just gonna work through the whole schedule. Some of that is just to get to experience it. I mean I went through all that work to create those schedules and it would be a shame to just play a few hours here, a few hours there. So I'd like to go through everything but it also gives me an opportunity in essence to kinda do some quality work on it in case there's a few things that have been missed. I've found for example textures and things that still appear that I can resolve that aren't always obviously aware because if you're playing for a longer period of time and a plane shows up at that point if you're not getting an error on load you just unless you notice the plane is white and realize well it shouldn't be I should be able to do something there sometimes you miss those things so I don't know that it's ever going to be perfect but the closer I can get to it the better I can provide something of high quality to the community so there's a little bit of that motivation but with that I also want to cover and honor the concept and so what I realized after I've done a few episodes starting out when I know there's traffic so in this airport I started at 5 a.m. but really didn't get any traffic till I think 6 or so. So you'll see that in another video. But I wanted to plug that gap and run the airport from 0, 100 to 500 and see what, if anything, shows up. And if nothing shows up, I suppose it'll be the shortest episode you'll ever see of something about Tower Simulator. But let's hop in here and see what we see. Burbank ground, southwest 1864 with information Quebec, requesting push and start. All right, so here at 1224 a.m., we do have a flight that's leaving. Southwest 1864, pushback approved, expect runway 26. Ground, runway 26, pushback approved. Southwest 1864. All right, so let's see, I think... There we go. Like I know, I've got a view here somewhere. I haven't turned on my airport lights. Let's do that. It looks a little dark and crazy here. But this may be it. So typically what you find is sometimes you'll have flights scheduled this late. But a lot of times, flights at this point that are set like this, or that are leaving like this, tend to be things that just got delayed for some reason, and they're just heading out as soon as they can. Burbank so, ground, Southwest 1864 ready to taxi. Southwest 1864, runway 26. So yeah, I was just waiting for it to runway call out. Southwest 1864. Southwest 26, runway 26 cleared for immediate Southwest 1864, runway 26, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500, contact departure. Runway 26, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500, contact departure. Southwest 1864. Burbank Tower, Southwest 1659 on final 15. All right, and we've got one coming in as well. So let's see, whoops. Turn that one off. We'll move this down here. And there he goes. Southwest 1659er, runway 15, cleared to land. So, runway yeah. 15, cleared to land. A little bit of activity Southwest here. 1659er. So, there it goes. And then at 500, it should go gray. There we go. I'll be really surprised if there's much else other than some FedEx or UPS flights in the early morning. 
Southwest 1659, taxi to terminal. Southwest 1659, cross runway 26. Taxi to so terminal. There it Southwest is. Southwest 1659. So very small cross airport. A nice, Southwest 1659. Yeah, I think this is a good example of a nice small airport that services, you know, what's become a very busy community, but probably at the time it was put in was probably on the outskirts and there may not have been much here and they were like, yeah, we're in good shape. You know, and who, who knows how long it worked before it got overburdened. All right, so let's speed things back up here. But one of the things, uh, there is a known issue that if you start a quick play at zero hundred hours, um, you're going to get some general aviation aircraft that spawn. And so you're going to want to avoid doing that. So when I try to run something like this, I'm actually starting at 2300 because that's the closest I can get. And then that tends to avoid any of the issues that are occurring. So I'll put things here. We'll see what things look like. Oh, I see something blinking out. Burbank ground, big strike 172 with information Quebec, requesting push and start. So there's more activity here than I would expect. Big stripe 172, pushback approved, expect runway 8. Ground, runway 8, pushback approved. Big stripe 172. And so we've got another big stripe coming in. So we'll let that get a little bit closer here. Burbank ground. Alaska 129 or 1 wow. information Quebec. Request and push and start. Alaska 129 or 1, pushback approved. Expect runway 26. Ground, runway 26, pushback approved. Alaska 129 or 1. So let's Burbank see. Tower, we go. big stripe 776 on final 15. So there's the Alaska. Big Stripe 776, runway 15. Big Stripe 776, runway 15, cleared to land. Choking up a little bit there. Say again. Runway 15, cleared to land. Big Stripe 776. Big Stripe 172, runway 8. Runway 8, Big Stripe 172. Burbank ground. So I Big should be able to get them to, taxi. to the runway and perhaps get them off before the other one arrives there. But we'll see again how things Alaska one, two, nine, line up here. Taxi. Alaska 129 or 1, runway 26. Big stripe 172, runway 8, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500, contact departure. So let's take Run a look over six. here. Alaska one two nine or one. There they go. Runway eight cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude five hundred. Contact departure. Big stripe one seven two. All right, we should be okay. There they go. So we're gonna let the uh, that one land. Alaska one two nine or one. Runway two six. Line up and wait. Runway two six. Line up and wait. Alaska one two nine or one. So we'll head on over here. We'll see how everything lines up here. Alaska 129 or 1, runway 26, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500, contact departure. Big Stripe 776, taxi to terminal. Look at that. Runway 26, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500, contact departure. Alaska 129 or 1. Taxi to terminal, Big Stripe 776. November 784, Kilo Sierra. Approved, expect runway 8. Ground, so, runway 8. They're approved. over here. November 784, Kilo Sierra. 
Big Stripe 776, cross runway 26. Cross runway 26, Big Stripe 776. All right. So they're going to come across, they're going to go down to Charlie, and then they're going to move Burbank over. Ground, November 784, Kilo Sierra with information, Quebec, ready to start. So, pretty soon. Burbank Ground, November 784, Kilo Sierra, ready to taxi. November 784, Kilo Sierra, runway 8. Runway 8, November 784, Kilo Sierra. All right. So they're going to come in here and turn in pretty soon. Right there, I would think. And then I think they're going to line up over there where the other one left. November 784, Kilo Sierra. Runway 8, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500. Contact departure. Runway 8, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500. Contact departure. November 784, Kilo Sierra. So, there he goes. Off to departure. Alright, so here we sit again. November 177, Bravo, Bravo. Pushback approved. Expect runway 15. Ground, runway 15. Pushback approved. And you would think November the general, Bravo, Bravo. some of the general aviation and stuff like this might make sense. I also wonder if some of the traffic here, if you think about it, uh, because this, this is general aviation, these are private planes of some sort. You know, it, this is Pacific time. Obviously, if you're flying into Eastern time, at this point when you're leaving the airport, it's 34.50 a.m. back there. So you may have flights that are scheduled to depart from this airport so that you get back, you know, before 8 a.m. or something, uh, you know, on the other end. Urban ground, November 177, Bravo, Bravo, ready to taxi. November 177, Bravo, Bravo, runway 15. Runway 15, November 177, Bravo, Bravo. But obviously, you know, we had a little bit of a gap from kind of that busy time between midnight and 1 a.m. But then things were pretty quiet, so I just skipped ahead to save you the time of, of waiting through that. November 177, Bravo, Bravo. Runway 15 cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500. Contact departure. Runway 15, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500 contact departure. November 177, Bravo, Bravo. All right, so they are off. Oh, yeah, we got something coming in. Looks like AM flight, I think. For Bank Tower, AM flight 7145 on final 15. AM flight 7145, runway 15, cleared to land. Runway 15, clear to land. And flight 7145. So we'll get them coming in. We're going to see them appear shortly. There they are. Obviously, they're coming pretty quickly the way I've got this set. So here they go. Am flight 7145, taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal. And flight see. 7145. Let's see where they go. All right, so they're just going to stick around here and then head on over here to this general aviation location. So, again, we can move things around because more than likely they're not going to, there's not going to be a lot happening. So, there we go. They are parked. And then another long move here. Worldwide, 3-2, pushback approved, expect runway 8. Ground, runway 8, pushback approved. Worldwide, 3-2. I just got to laugh. This is a Pitbull's airplane, but don't know. <laughs> so, 
If that doesn't make sense to you, I'm sure you can look it up and put the pieces together, maybe. So, but, you know, worldwide, I, I you know, worldwide industries, it's certainly a reasonable name for a, an airline, so, private jet company or something like that, so. But we've got another hour or so Burbank that we got to cover. Worldwide 3 2, ready to taxi. Worldwide 3 2, runway 8. And then we'll just give runway them clearance eight. right away Worldwide once three they two. move. Worldwide 3 2, runway 8, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500, contact departure. Now. Runway 8, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500, contact departure. Worldwide 3 2. Now at Nashville, uh, between 4 and 5 a.m., the FedEx flights came in. I'm assuming that might be a reasonable expectation of what we're going to have here as well. But we'll obviously see what we've got. If it takes a while, I'll jump ahead just to save you the agony of sitting here with me, just as I have been doing thus far. Burbank ground, November 501, Mike Golf with information, Charlie, requesting push and start. November 501, Mike Golf, pushback approved, expect runway 15. Ground, runway 15, pushback approved. Right. November 501, Mike Golf. So, it looks like, no, that, that was a flight that departed, but... It, it looks like it's about the same place, but maybe maybe it's the big stripe came in. I don't know. Seems like I've been here this morning already. And then we'll head up to the runway again, give it clearance, and go. Obviously, they've got to get Burbank the pushback ground. cart. November 501, ready to taxi. November 501, Mike Golf, runway 15. Runway 15. November 501, Mike Golf. November 501, Mike Golf, runway 15. Cleared for immediate takeoff. Whoops. November 501, Mike Golf, at Bravo 2. November 501, Mike Golf, runway 15 at Bravo 2. Let's see if I can get him to go Runway on one there. Five. Cleared for immediate takeoff. November 501, Mike Golf. November 501, Mike Golf. Runway 15. Cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500. Contact departure. Negative. November 501, Mike Golf. Runway 15. Right. At Bravo 2. November we'll, 501, we'll just Mike tell Golf. him to contact departure once he gets there. For immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 500 contact departure. But yeah, November rather than taxiing all the way down, this Burbank way I can tower, get him UPS going. UPS 9014 Heavy on final 15. UPS 5901 Heavy, runway 15, cleared to land. Runway right. 15, cleared to land. So, UPS they should 9014 heavy. take off shortly. Maybe. Well, that was close. November 501, Mike Golf, contact departure. Oh, he already did. So I guess he did hear me there. Oh, we got another one coming in. I'm guessing it's another cargo delivery, though. So that would not be surprising. Let's move things along a bit. Since we're getting close to our window here. But we'll obviously land whatever's coming in. Burbank Tower, FedEx 1417 Heavy on final 15. There you go, there's the FedEx. FedEx 1417 Heavy, runway 15, cleared to land. And then these guys, I runway think, head over five, cleared to, land. to this FedEx area there. Heavy. So, we're going to have a bit of fun here. So, here comes UPS. Should have a livery on here. We do. UPS 914 Heavy, taxi to terminal. So, wow, yeah, he needed every little taxi bit here. UPS 9014 Heavy. It's the first time I've had one land like that and do that. 
UPS 914 Heavy, cross runway 26. So he basically kind of turns in heavy. and then comes out here. We'll cross over here and head right over. The head, the head, the FedEx, let's say HeadX, the FedEx is going to likely have that same long run because I would imagine it's a similar type of aircraft. So we should see him there. We do. We're getting close. Ten minutes in. And again, we'll see what things look like. Yep, we've got some livery on here too, as you'd expect. FedEx 1417 Heavy, taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal. FedEx 1417 Heavy. And I believe runway 15 is uh, longer. Could be wrong, but... FedEx 1417 Heavy, cross runway 26. Cross runway 26. FedEx 1417 Heavy. It'll be the same. So they cross, and they head over, and then they're going to go sit next to the UPS plane. There you go. So I'm sure they're getting unloaded. All the packages will start running around uh, the L.A. area. I think that's where Burbank is. It's, it's part of that location. But unless something pops up in the next two minutes on our scopes... We're going to be all set here. So there we go. 5 o'clock, 12 seconds. At this point, anything else will pick up in another episode. So if you're liking the day in the life, certainly uh, give me a comment so that I know that. It is interesting when we pause that like the airplanes stop, but the vehicles don't. So those obviously just uh, the way they're modeled. They just kind of keep running, kind of like one of those little panoramas you might have for your Christmas scene or something where you've got things rotating and it just keeps happening regardless of what's going on. But yeah, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think of the concept. Um, I don't know that I've seen anything specifically like this. Maybe it's because there isn't any interest, but I think since I haven't seen any, it's hard to gauge if there's any interest if we don't put anything out there. So I'm willing to think outside the box a little bit, give people something a little different here in Tower Simulator 3 than just random quick plays that we show up and decide to do and might be interesting, but trying to, like I said, uh, do something a little different for the community. So let me know what you think on that. If you have enjoyed this and haven't dropped a like, please consider doing that. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider that as well, and I will see you next time.